We are live here in Schenectady right now. We are doing our first podcast. How's it going, everybody? I'm Brandon Badgett. I'm the Director of Business Development here at Janelle Group. We're a custom software development shop in upstate New York, Schenectady to be specific. And I am joined with my colleague and my good buddy, Mike Young, who's the Director of Recruiting here at Janelle Group. What's going on, buddy? Not too much, B. Thanks for having me on the inaugural podcast here at JG. I wouldn't want to have it with anybody else, man. Come on. This is exciting stuff right here. Um, let's jump right into it. Cause we're trying to keep these things short and sweet. Uh, I, I do love- have a meeting in 10 minutes. So. Okay. That is really <laughs> short and sweet right there, but I love to hear a little bit more about your background, how you ended up at Janelle group, what you're doing now as well. Yeah. Sounds great. So my story, right? I started, uh, I was obsessed with sports growing up. I went to college to play baseball. Um, didn't end up working out for me. So I came back to U Albany, dove headfirst into computer science. Um, I then worked as a web developer. Uh, at the same time, I was running a promotional company, uh, wine, liquor, and beer. It was a pretty fun gig for, oh, yeah. for someone right out of college. Um, and then also, I was going back for my MBA. And so I was doing a lot. And I didn't sleep much during this time period, but Janelle Group allowed me to combine the business and technology into one role here. I started as a project manager. Uh, I went into a financial institution. I basically ran a development team of 10 and then a product team of 30 for about 18 months. But at that time period, Janelle Group's needs were shifting, Uh, probably a little bit due to to Brandon Badgett over here bringing (laughs) in so much business. Um, But we started the the need for people and we were heavily reliant on recruiters for this. And and so I raised my hand and was like, hey, I think I could uh, I think I could do all right at this. Um, and, and so that was about two years ago now when, when we started up the recruiting division, we just hired our, our sixth person. Um, you know, and now we're not only recruiting internally, but helping some of our close clients recruit as well. So yeah, that's you guys story. are actually killing it right now. So yeah, just jumping into your recruiting process. So like you said, you kind of have that computer science background. Does that help cut through the noise when you're out there recruiting developers? Sure. So, so what I would say there is I'm very lucky. I work with 130 of some of the most talented engineers on the planet, um, and I'm able to learn quite a bit from them every day. And, and so I would say, yes, you know, it definitely helps me being involved in this company. Having the software backgrounds um, helps a lot. I get to nerd out a little bit with these guys and understand what they're talking about. But really, when it comes down to it, we have such an impressive team. I just try to find more people like them. That's it. That's it. And I think you said it earlier. So when you came into Janelle Group, you kind of had a different role. Now you're doing recruiting. So, I mean, I know the leaders here, but how, how did they really enable that, that switch? And, and how is that for you? Yeah. So Darren and Jason Janelle are, uh, are two interesting individuals to say the least. Um, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I was ever expecting to work for two executives quite like them. Uh, but let me give you a little background. So, so Darren and Jason, Also came from a sports background, went into development after college and worked on Wall Street for um, about 10 years and then decided that they didn't love all of the red tape that came along with with getting things done. And so they started up Janelle Group uh, with the ideals of teamwork, collaboration, right, from their sports background combined with... um, let's just get things done. And you know, when it doesn't make sense, throw it out, iterate quick, move on. We started with three people, uh, 10 years ago, we've grown to 130 today. And through that time period, they have really supported our engineers. The whole idea is, is servant leadership. It's a pretty big buzzword these days, but Hmm. what that basically means is in a typical company, the developers, are, you know, the lowly developers on the bottom and they have to report to the executives. Well, here we try to flip that script. And so we put the developers on top and the leadership team is really here just to support them, to put them into the positions to work with cool clients on meaningful projects, um, as well as live an awesome, awesome life outside of work. Right. And so Darren and Jason make all that happen here. And uh, yeah, they've supported me. I mean, they took me off billable work 100 percent to ch- to take a chance and put me into this recruiting role. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and so, yeah, I, I love those guys. I'm obviously pretty biased with my story here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, back to you, B. Likewise, man. I think I, I see it myself, too. It, it, it really is amazing. And kind of diving into that, a lot of good things you said there. But what's like your actual favorite part about Janelle Group? What really stands out for you? Yep. Yep. And, and so I think this probably makes sense as I am, I'm in the recruiting, right? But uh, the people, um, man, oh man, do we have some motivated 
um, hungry engineers, people that want to learn, move their career forward, and, and then live an awesome life, as I mentioned before. Um, you know, for me, I'll, I'll come in sometimes on a Monday morning, right? Maybe my Giants just took a big loss the, the weekend before. Which Sadly, happens it happens too way too much lately. <laughs> um, but uh, they pick me up. You know, those people help me whenever I'm down and really refocus me what's important, what I want to go after. And then we like to celebrate our success together as well. So, so the people, to, to answer your question, is certainly my favorite part. Couldn't agree more. There's just too many good people around here. And it's, it, it amazes me every single day. But I mean, hopefully lightning doesn't strike me down and, and I'm currently at our office right now. But is there anything that you don't like <laughs> about Janelle Group? Yeah, so, so Janelle Group, we are a consulting firm in the services-based industry uh, that is very different than a product company. Um, and I want to make sure that this is clear. So, so in the services-based industry, you will be working on a number of different projects throughout your tenure here, right? You could be on a healthcare project from your first year and a half, and then the next year and a half, you could switch domains, go into the financial industry relearn that industry, right? Or, or maybe learn it for the first time, as well as build new relationships and, and have to do that with both the client and the team. And so this isn't for everyone. This, this domain switching, um, new tech stacks a lot of times will come up from this as well. And, and so you need to have the right growth mindset and the mindset of, I want to go in and I want to help this client continue to grow. And that takes some flexibility. And so Again, I enjoy this, but I want to be transparent with, with people that are looking to come to our company. This is not for everyone. There are certainly product people out there. And so this is something that I certainly like to, to point out. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm sure, like you said, I'm sure you get a lot of recruits who kind of just go a different direction for both reasons. For Janelle Group, maybe it's not a fit for that person or vice versa. So it seems to make a lot of sense. And I kind of just want to switch it up. I know we're moving really quickly here, but Side hustle, right? I know about side hustle. I know what it's all about. It really is awesome. How different is that from what you're seeing in the landscape of, of the industry we work in? Could you explain to me a little bit about what that is and, and how it makes us different? Yeah, for sure. So I have always, uh, I've never heard of side hustle before Janelle Group. Um, I, I don't think I've talked to an engineer that has either. So let me explain what it is. Basically, here at Janelle Group, we require you to work your 40 hours a week on one project and, and then go home and enjoy your life. But some people, they want to take on more work. They want to grow faster. Um, and, and so we allow them to raise their hand and say, hey, I would like to take on an extra project. Now, this is no joke. It's 10 to 15 hours above and beyond your, your typical work week. 55 hour weeks are difficult. Um, but what we do is we will pay you out hourly on top of your salary for that additional project. And so this allows our people to grow fast, right? Maybe they just got that AWS cert and they don't use AWS on their project, but we can go out and find them something to get that real world experience and grow their wallets pretty fast while they're doing it as well. Um, the other thing that's unique with side hustle and really our culture, but it, it changes with the seasons in your life, right? And so in the winter time, uh, it's it's uh, it's a little icy out there today. It's cold, it's cold <laughs> um, out there. <laughs> and so I would probably raise my hand right during the winter in upstate New York. I want to take on more work. Um, but then it's summertime. My, my friends are telling me I need to get up to Saratoga. I need to go to the racetrack with Brandon Badgett. <laughs> um, and, and then I would probably put my hand down for side hustle, right? And, and so side hustle changes with the seasons in your life and is a program that allows our engineers to, to make a little bit of extra cash when they have that uh, free time and on their hands. Yeah, definitely not a bad combination at all. And like you said, I've seen it myself here. You can opt in, you can opt out, which is, is super cool to see the flexibility. Again, we're going rapid here, so let's jump into the next question I got for you. Give me, if whoever is still watching out there, give me one tip for a recruit, somebody who wants to work in software, somebody who kind of has that drive, what could make them stand out? What things can they do? Do you got a tip tip for them? Yeah, for sure. And, and so I would say this to, to anyone looking for a job, not in software, really across the any industry, any domain. Um, Figure out what you want, right? And, and take the time to look through companies, um, do your research. And then when you find ones that, that you think would be a good fit, go after it. And what I mean by that is don't just send in an application. Um, companies get thousands of applications every day. It's crazy out there. But 
email, figure out who that hiring manager is, go on LinkedIn, um, talk to some of their employees and, and shoot your shot, honestly, go after yeah. what you want. Um, it's actually, uh, funny enough, how Brandon Badgett uh, joins <laughs> uh, Chanel Group. Um, our, our, Stalked you guys out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and that's how we find people here at, at JG too. We don't really hire too many applicants. What we do is we go after those people that we think would be a good fit. I would encourage the engineers to do the same. Um, I take 100% of the emails that, that people send me and, and want to get on a phone call with me just because they took the extra time to, to shoot their shot and uh, say, hey, I think I'd be a good fit for your company. I love that tip. Not only because I did it myself, but I think that also <laughs> is really good advice right there. Um, finishing up, I know you got a call in a minute. Give me your coolest story. Like, do you got any cool things that you do to stand out when reaching out to those recruits? Anything that you got for me that's just a little bit different to make you cut through the noise there? Yeah, so we're a little bit unique um, when it comes to recruiting. I, I hope um, there's a lot of robotic uh, BS out there. And uh, as a recruiter right now, it's one of the most competitive markets uh, ever, in my opinion. Um, and, and so what we try to do is, is be different, be personal. Um, we try to break through that noise by doing our research up front on the candidate. Um, you know, as far as a, a story is concerned, <laughs> yesterday I just uh, I just bought someone a wedding present. Um, basically, where's, where's mine? Yeah, where's I know, mine? B. I know. Well, you got to send me out that invite first, though. <laughs> still in the mail. It's coming. It's still in the mail. Um, but uh, you know, I, I sent him a, a gift through his wedding registry. I'd never talked to this guy before in my life, but I'm trying to make an impression on him. Um, I'm trying to show him why we are different. In and care about our people. And that's really how we run our interview process too. It's not the, hey, I need to test you out to make sure you're a good fit for Janelle mm. Group. No, 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 no. Let me show you why we're a good fit for you. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And from what I see too, it's it's going from that recruiting team and you guys treating them like, like kings or like gold and then passing them off. And then while their employees here are still being treated like kings and like gold, like you said, like with that servant leadership. So it's really cool for me to see from the outside looking in that what you guys do to really stand out. But, but that is awesome. And again, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today. I know this was a quick 10 minute. Hopefully you're not going to be uh, late for your call over there. But I think it was a cool podcast. Again, we're just two people having conversations about what we do and what we love to do. And uh, yeah, again, I appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having me on, man. We, we have a lot of uh, smart engineers out here too that hopefully we can have on in, uh, in future podcasts, but it was a blast. Thanks, oh, yeah. All right, thanks a lot, man.